Hi y'all, it's Christian Styles here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, it's good to see you. Um, again, um, hit that like button, subscribe button if you like the video and all that fun stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say that twice in this video, but let's get right into it because I don't like to waste time. So, today's video is going to be another hair review by one of my favorite companies in the whole wide world, Outre. So now Outre, I have hopped on the Julianne wave, okay? It is Julianne, okay? Isn't that beautiful? Um, fully uh, fully hand tied 13 by six uh, lace frontal and um, it's in the color DR4 Golden Honey Blonde because you know Christian Styles is blonde, Christian Styles loves his blonde and this is, this is me. So I thought that this would have been the um, the best. So here it is. Um, here's the box, as you've seen. Um, the back of the box looks like this, and they have the cap configurations and what it looks like, and they have some of the things that they claim. So let me read off that. Um, transparent, soft Swiss lace. Um, fully hand-tied, 13 by 6 frontal. No plucking required. Baby hairs. Adjustable wide elastic band in... in heat styling friendly okay and um, it just shows you the configuration so when you open the box the box looks like this now let me tell you something a lot of people have been saying something about Outre's new packaging this is wonderful I love this packaging not like I don't like the other ones but I have a ton of those other packaging like the um, rubber ones the with the waxy kind of sl slit thing that they slide the box into I have a ton of those up there and this is just a lot more sturdy and it's easier to stack and I absolutely love this. So this, as you can see, it gives you the, um, the care guide here um, and it just really lets you know like how to give you instructions, step by step instructions on how to put it on. Now anybody who's watching this video already knows how to put on a wig so this should, should not be anything new. So let me slip this out of here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Place the box on the ground because I keep packaging. This is what the stock card looks like. You guys can see that. Okay. Same thing. Same exact way that the box looked. Perfect. Same exact thing that's on the box is on here. It shows you my color. It says that it's heat safe up to 400 degrees. It's got the eight, uh, HD parent lace. The, the stock uh, the name of the wig is called Julianne, your rich cousin, Julianne, bougie. Um, and this is, this is the hair, y'all. And I don't know if this camera is going to do this hair color justice, but it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And for a frontal, I don't have a blonde frontal. No, I don't. This is my very first blonde frontal. I've been wearing blonde wigs for years. It's Blonde is definitely my color, but I have not had a blonde frontal. That's interesting. Sorry, I'm just like taking this these pieces off. Let, actually, let me take this off and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And this is the wig configuration. This is what it looks like. Here's the elastic band. And what we have is we have two combs over here on the sides of the head and one at the nape and the elastic band. And then this is all the lace parting. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Without being touched, without being combed through, without anything. That's what the color looks like. The dark root is all throughout, obviously those curls these Farrah Fawcett curls in the front I live for the Farrah Fawcett style I don't know what it is but it's just so old school and just so ha just so jazzy and so nice I absolutely love the Farrah Fawcett style um, so let me go ahead and put this on with the lace still being intact to see how this is gonna look just give me a second I'll be right back Gotta be very careful that I do not rip it. 
this is I'm sorry guys if you can hear the rain in the background we're in the midst of like a some kind of a storm here in South Florida because it is hurricane season here in South Florida so <sighs> what better thing to do during this is to film a review <laughs> film a hair review okay so this is what it looks like straight on out of the pack without me doing anything to it this is what it looks like okay this is what it looks like from the side this is what it looks like from the back other side All the hair to the front. Oh my gosh. Okay. And so, let me see what I can do with this. Let me play around with this. Got my wide tooth comb. Always use a wide tooth comb because of the kind of hair that this is. And it's very textured and it's a yakky hair that mimics African American hair textures. It's always best to use a wide tooth comb. Or your fingers. You don't want to run a brush through this because, of, no, just, just don't, just trust me. Take it. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, licensed esthetician, licensed barber. You do not want to run a brush through this hair. I mean, you can, but you'll you'll be messing with the way it's it's outcome and how it looks. Okay, and these are baby hairs. And if you guys know from my other reviews, from my other hair reviews, I don't do baby hairs. I never have done them. I don't care for them. I don't think that they look good at all. Um, so let's do some partings here so I can show you um, the frontal action. Okay, so this is basically what a middle part was, it would look like. I mean, look at that, look at that. I mean, it's not the neatest middle part it could possibly be. Side part, oh my gosh, I'm feeling it. I'm feel. oh my God. Hello. I think I found my new fave. Okay, and this is all before cutting off the lace, guys. Oh my God, I'm living living for this oh my gosh okay so like people have been saying this does remind you of the other um wigs in the outre company because the nisha line which is sitting right in front of me actually because those are some of my favorite wigs to wear the Nisha line, it's like we were saying, give us a, a Nisha frontal version, give us a Nisha frontal version. And they came out with this, which is, you know, I feel like they were hearing our cry and they just gave it a different name rather than giving it like Nisha 206 and just putting it a part of the Outre Perfect Hairline um, collection. But they heard us, they heard us and they gave us exactly what we were looking for. And this is it. This is, this is manageable. This is not too much. This is, this is, this is, oh my feel my dance mom christy vibes oh my god okay let me go ahead and cut this lace off and i will be right back okay guys i am back and the lace is cut off so what we're gonna do is we are going to customize it to the best of our ability so like i always say i would definitely recommend getting you know you can use your beauty blender for this hell you can use your fingers for this um, this next part it's really not that big a deal what I'd like to do is sometimes I go in with a little bit of powder um, and put it along but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start with the foundation first because putting the foundation on first it really speeds things up and on and you can put you can also put this on the inside of the wig it actually helps a lot better if you put it on the inside of the wig. So that way, um, it just, it's even on both sides. Because if it rubs off on the outside or whatever, it won't rub off all the way completely. 
if it's also on the inside of the wig as well. So just be cognizant of that. Oops, I got some foundation on the little baby hairs here, but that's fine because that's bound to happen. And that's okay because the front is black anyways. And look at that. Look at that, guys. I don't use baby hair, so it doesn't really matter to me that I got it. Got a little bit of... And you're not ever going to see that. Because look. Look at that. Done. Looks like scalp realness. Looks like it's growing out of my head. Look at that. Oh, my God. I am feeling my fantasies. Oh, I didn't do this side. Let me do this side. Okay, you see that? Oh my gosh. And you can wear this glueless, because I wear all mine glueless for the most part, unless it's absolutely necessity that I glue it down. Most of the time, you just walk out the door like this. It's fine like this. It's not going to blow away. This is extremely snug, first of all, especially because I'm wearing the elastic band. If I wasn't wearing the elastic band, it probably wouldn't be as snug, but this is snug. And that just tells me that it'll stay where you put it. And that's a good thing. Um, you don't have to worry about it falling loose or anything. So this is what it looks like. Another 360. Okay what it looks like and you can change it just like that look how easy that was from one side to the other and finger comb it to get it exactly how you want it to be and bam I can have the same thing that I had over here on this side look at that look at that you can See, and I, I see what they're saying about this being like an addition to the Nisha collection, but not being as much. I think it is the same amount of hair. It's just executed a little differently. This reminds me of the Permiaki 18 inch, honestly, um, just in frontal version, because it was this light and this fluffy and this soft. Um, back in the day for those OG subscribers and for those OG wig wearers that know about that wig and probably still have it. Like, I have all mine still, and they're in perfect condition. So I can honestly compare it to that before I compare it to one of the Nisha's because they're saying that this is a lot like Nisha 205, but I don't own 205, and I probably won't own 205, so I, I wouldn't know what to, to say about that one. But this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I basically that's it that's all I have to say if you don't have this in your collection I suggest you go pick it up and um, stay perfectly imperfect and I'll see you guys later I am loving myself sick in this I'm gonna go take pictures oh my god hello ba -ba boom all right <laughs> all right guys I'm sorry bye